Let's give a big round of applause for Alas. I am Surajit Bodyguard on Ondar, and I am Sam. Um, uh, my name is Sean Quirk. I'll be your host this evening. Uh, with us here tonight to present the music of the Republic of Tuva are three of the finest musicians of their generation back home in the Republic of Tuva. I am Ondar, Sam, Bodyguard Zhu Ondar, and I am Shirajik. I am not from the Republic of Tuva. I'm from Milwaukee. Uh, and I, but I did live here in Chicago for a couple of years, and it was actually uh, while I was uh, working as a bike messenger here in Chicago that I got a Fulbright scholarship to go over to Tuva, study the music for a year, and uh, I just never came home. That was 13 years ago, and uh, I've had the privilege of spending 10 of those years with Alash, uh, touring around the country, bringing the music of Tuva to people all over the world. Uh, we're going to dive right into our program. Every once in a while, just a few times during the program, I'm going to pop up from my perch over here and provide a little context, a little background about the music, uh, just in case there's anybody in the audience that doesn't speak Tuvan. Uh, but for the most part, I'm going to try to stay out of your way and just add a little color to the performance. For those of you who are new to Tuva, uh, I'm going to leave you with this small nugget of information as we get started here. Tuva is a place that you will not find on the world map. It is a republic within the Russian Federation. It is just north of Mongolia. It's part of the Russian Federation. But Tuvan people are not Russians, and they are not Mongolians. Uh, confusing Mongolia and Tuva is like confusing Illinois and Wisconsin. So uh, uh, Tuva has its own history, its own culture. Uh, it's protected this culture for thousands of years. The music you're about to hear, some of it elements of it come from a time in human development before people invented language. So uh, we invite you to go on a trip to Siberia uh, with us this evening. We're just going to have one long concert. So let's please welcome once again the masters of Tuvan throat singing, Alash.
Sweater bin lolo. I you know some a man our friend Bela Fleck called the golden throat of Tuva uh, sharing with us one of the many many different styles of what we so awkwardly refer to in the English language as Tuvan throat singing. What you just heard is called in Tuvan Hume and it's one of the many different styles of this beautiful and ancient art that we're hearing throughout Alash's concert. This is the part of the music that the academic people are talking about when they say this is so old that it goes back in time to before people invented language and they trace it back to a time when people were seeking uses for their voices. They were learning about their voices and they were seeking a way to inhabit the sonic world around them by being inspired by the sounds of nature, the sounds of wind and water, and not necessarily imitating those sounds, but reflecting those sounds back and participating in this sonic landscape all around. And uh, you find in all facets of Tuvan music this very deep connection with the landscape. You can almost say that this throat singing is a three-dimensional style of music. And even when you learn the Tuvan language, you find that there's all these ways you can describe very specific places in the landscape with a very few words. This next song uses the music and the language of Tuva to describe a very particular place, a river that winds through tall cliffs. And the song is being sung by someone who grew up there, someone who's from there. They're singing, they're remembering their homeland with a little bit of nostalgia, a little bit of sorrow, wondering how the water and the land changes throughout the different lights of day. This is a song of the river homeland called Mejigay.
Merci à tous.
Ketrigan, thank you. Ayan Shirajik sharing with us the <coughs> Cuban shepherd's flute, the murgu, an instrument that traditionally was made uh, seasonally out of the stalk of an angelica plant. It's a grass with a woody stem, and make it in the fall and play it for a while, and the instrument would sort of naturally uh, degrade, and you'd wait. Uh, till next fall to make another one. There's a lot of things in Tuva that are seasonal in nature, and this comes from the nomadic way of life of the Tuvan people, moving from season to season, from pasture to pasture. This way of life was developed in Tuva because in the summertime it can get very hot. It can get uh, above 100 degrees Fahrenheit fairly regularly, and in the wintertime it gets really cold. It can get below minus 40 on average. And that's Fahrenheit and Celsius. It doesn't matter at that point. <laughs> they, just, they just go home. Uh, that's actually where the two scales meet, minus 40, and it gets cold. So to combat this, the Tuvan people developed the nomadic way of life so that they and their animals could be in the right place at the right time to survive and prosper. You want to be in a lower place in the winter where it's easier for the animals to get grass, less snow, less wind. And you want to be in a high place in the summer where you're up out of the heat out of the humidity, away from the biting insects, in a place where you've got good fresh grass and nice clean water, and the animals and the people that take care of them have a chance to refresh their strength to get ready for another long and difficult Tuvan winter. So this next song is a song from that time about the joy of going up into the summer pastures high up in the taiga. This is a song of joy that in Tuvan is called Otarladip Semertili, or Let's go get the cows fat.
<laughs> Thank you very much. How's everything? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <coughs> we have many songs, traditional songs have uh, have about mountains, horses and beautiful women. Uh, rivers. This next song song about two sister river. Back to one big river. Cause I will let her go.
Это ты все, это ты сунул. Ah, 
Thank you. Badi Dorju Ondar uh, playing for us a couple of songs on the Russian Bayan accordion. That's not a Tuvan traditional instrument, but it's one that the Tuvans have taken up and made a part of their own tradition, taking the things that they like, the sound that they like. That was a, a pair of songs Badi sang for us. The second one is a children's song about herding sheep. And the first song Badi sang for us a little bit of Tuvan cowboy poetry, a song about reminiscing about lost love. The song is called Whatever <laughs> Happened to That Old Haystack. <laughs> that's, that's, really, that's really what the song is about. It's, uh, it's actually very beautiful. It's, it's very, uh, very ephemeral, talking about or, uh, med a meditation on time passing and ephemerality and that stuff. Uh, but it is about a haystack, for sure. Um, this next song is about reindeer. Uh, Tuva is a fascinating place, uh, as Marta told us in the beginning. Size-wise, it's a little bit it's somewhere between Illinois and Michigan as far as square mileage. But within this area, we have a, a great diversity of flora and fauna in Tuva. In the west are high mountains uh, like the Rockies, and people there herd yaks. And in the south is a drier, more arid area, and people there are herding camels. And then, and not too far uh, to the northeast from where folks are herding camels, uh, there's a totally different climate, a different biome. It's called Toju, and the people of Toju have been herding reindeer for a very, very long time. It's one of the oldest occupations of humankind. The people of Toju still practice this way of life, despite all of the difficulties inherent in the way of life, moving very often, much more than a regular nomad, uh, not to mention the additional pressures of the 21st century. This song comes from the people of Toju, the reindeer people, uh, it is a song of pride in the way of life. The singer sings about himself <coughs> and his reindeer. He says, we don't get stuck in the mountains when it snows, and we don't get stuck in the rivers when they overflow their banks. I am a hard-working hunter. I have reindeer, and they are awesome. This is the real translation of Ivigilerning Rze, the Reindeer Herder's Song. Thank you. 
田です。Thank you. Thank you. In in the world, two one people only three hundred thousand people in world. We very happy because we have very nice traditional, also language, also songs. The next song very old. We any time, sometime <coughs> tell to. Everybody, thank you, ancestor, language, tradition, and songs. This next song, very old song, it can help.
Siete pistas, siete pistas, eso es otro. Thank you very much. Siete pistas. That was a piece, uh, original composition by Alash from our most recent album. It's, uh, we call that one by the traditional title of Let's Relax. Um, it's on our newest album, which is called A Chai, or Father in Tuvan. Uh, it's dedicated to a man who was a musical father for an entire generation of Tuvan musicians, a great musician. Many of you may have heard of Kongarol Wandar, who not only was a... Uh, a great ambassador for Tuvan music, but he raised, literally raised a generation of Tuvan music uh, performers and helped to maintain the tradition, uh, which continues to grow and thrive in Tuva. So our newest uh, album is dedicated to him as members of a tradition that's passed on from father to son and from generation to generation. So that's our newest album. We have two other uh, albums as well. We don't uh, have them in stock, but you can get them uh, over the internet. Uh, we're going to have one more song on the program, but before we get to that, one more song officially uh, on the program, before we get to that, <coughs> uh, uh, announcements. Number one, we want to uh, thank everybody for coming out tonight. You've uh, really expended the most. We've now you in the hands of these three individuals who I will introduce individually for your recognition of all the hard work uh, they've done in bringing the music here tonight. Uh, next to me is a man, uh, as you know, who Bela Fleck called the Golden Throat of Tuva. He also got a medal from the president of Tuva last year. He received the highest title that a Tuvan singer can be given. Uh, the highest, most prestigious award was given to Ayn al Sam, the newest People's Kumeji of the Republic of Tuva. People's Throat Singer. Uh, on the other side of uh, the ensemble, he's our percussionist, our flautist. Uh, he's also an award-winning throat singer. He got a medal for being distinguished throat singer of Tuva in 2009, Mr. Ian Shirajit. Finally, in the center of the ensemble, he's also a people's throat singer of the Republic of Tuva. He received this high, prestigious honor in 2007. He was 23 at the time, but he'd already been working on stage for more than 15 years, including a visit at the age of nine, back in 1993, to the Chevy Chase show, Mr. Bonnie Dorju Ondar. Once again, give it up for a laugh. Oh, 
Çetirdeyiz. Çetirdeyiz. Thank you. Thank you. Now we can officially tell you, we'll be March 2nd at the University of Chicago. Come on down to that show as well. Tell your friends, this March 2nd we'll be down at the U of C. Because this show is almost officially over, so please come on down March 2nd. Let's hear it one more time for a laugh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Chris Green Donut. Okay. Uh, we're gonna <laughs> sing. You guys, I want you to help me. We're we're this is what we're gonna sing, okay? Because this is like a very rare Alash occurrence, but we've clearly felt something special tonight. So the court. This is a song about beautiful women and good horses, and uh, it's called the refrain. What we're gonna sing is "A Shu De Ko," and uh, yeah, yep, yep. Yeah. In Tuvan. When you translate that into Tuvan or from Tuvan into English, it means Ashu Dekeo. So every time a lash sings a verse, we're going to sing Ashu Dekeo back at, at them. The first time we sing it goes up, the second time it goes down. But yeah, it's the best of the best. Okay, yes. Yeah. No, they say you guys don't need a lesson. You're just going to pick it up as we go. <laughs> okay. <laughs>
Jedi jsou to střetí nevyrášu, nekej jo. Všude. Thank you very much. See you next time. Thank you. Thank you.